What we're going to do is make a little table, it's about half a page, to give us the definitions of what's oxidation, what's reduction. The reason I want to do this is there's a lot of them floating around. I have here, I'm going to list five. Some are going to be more relevant than others in different situations. You really need to know one, whatever works for you. Um, and I'll show you which one's my favorite for this class. But let's go through and, and you'll see how this works. First the definition has to do with oxygen. So, for oxygen, if you have an oxidation, you have gained oxygens. If you have reduction, you have a loss or lost oxygens. So, uh, if you see more oxygens in the products than the reactants, that's an oxidation. If you see less, that's a reduction. You can do the same thing with hydrogen, but it's just the opposite. If you lose hydrogens, or have a loss of hydrogens, that's oxidation. And if you have a gain of hydrogens, that's a reduction. So, if you have less hydrogens in the products, then you have just oxidized. Okay? These are really simple, easy to look. You don't have to calculate anything. You can use these a lot in OCHEM, but in some of our reactions, you can use this and see. Uh, for example, we've done one before where you had permanganate MnO4 minus uh, goes to uh, manganese 4 oxide MnO2. There's less oxygens in the products, and so you've just had a reduction of manganese. This is my favorite definition, the second one. If your oxidation state increases, it's the oxidation. And if it reduces or decreases, it's a reduction. I think, for us, this would be the easiest definition to use, and this will work in all cases. So just think, oxidation state increasing, you have more oxidation, because oxidation state is going up. Oxidation state decreasing or reducing means reduction. So reducing your oxidation state is reduction. You can also do this definition by electrons. So if you have a loss of electrons versus a gain, of electrons. So if you lose electrons, that's oxidation. If you gain electrons, that's reduction. This is the most popular type taught by a lot of people. Um, and you might have learned this if you've learned the acronyms like OIL, RIG, or LEO says GUR. Uh, this means lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons reduction, or oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Uh, the main reason I don't like to use this too much is it involves two steps of thought where the middle definition involves one step of thought. So, because you have to calculate the oxidation state to figure out something, um, but to find the amount of electrons if they're lost or gains, that's a second step. Now, that's why I prefer the middle one. You can use whatever. <laughs> I don't care. As long as you figure out how to do it, that's totally fine. So if you prefer a different definition than I give you, then don't worry about it. Okay, half reaction, if there's electrons in the products, that's an oxidation. If you have electrons in the reactants, then that's a reduction. You're going to use this mostly in 2C, uh, if you take 2C with us in a future chem class. But uh, you can use it here just to double check your answer and make what you think is a reduction an actual a reduction <laughs> by looking at the half reaction after you balance it. Okay, so these are your basic definitions. Feel free to use any one you want. Um, the last three will work in all cases, but the first two uh, won't necessarily work all the time because you don't always have oxygen and hydrogen in your reaction. But if you do, uh, those first two are really, really fast.